welcome to our midterm presentation for Principles of Management. Our presentation is titled Management for Dummies. We are currently enrolled in the online Principles of Management course. And our group consists of James Whitaker, Stephen Petriliak, Laura Carreras, and Stephanie Rodney. After viewing our video, viewers should expect to have a better grasp on how managers affect the attitude of their employees. We will show this through several examples of our main character, Luke. They will also understand the difference between the pros and the cons of strategic planning as well as good camaraderie and how to manage a diverse workforce along with overcoming group challenges and objectives including things like group communication, change in workplace policy, as well as creating a trusting, empathetic, and motivational environment for everyone in the workforce. Our videos will be taking place in Tampa, Florida, at one of many Amazon warehouses located throughout the country. Luke is new and fresh out of college, with little to no work experience. Due to his lack of experience, he is having difficulty gaining the respect and confidence of his employees, even though he knows he is a caring and compassionate manager. Throughout our episodes, you'll see Luke's attempt to improve the workforce, environment, and the challenges he faces along his new and blossoming career at Amazon. Meet our main character and manager, Luke. Luke is a recent graduate from college. He does not have much work experience. However, he is confident, a natural leader, very qualified, organized, as well as ambitious, friendly, caring, passionate, mindful, and of course young. All of these will come into play when he is dealt with the task of becoming the new team leader of his new team members, Bill, Chauncey, Linda, Richard, and Sarah. Our first of five team members is Bill Gunther. Bill is experienced. He is very result-driven, self-assured, demanding abusive, efficient, driven, organized, and is a skilled communicator. Bill is an extreme outdoorsman who spends his nights alone. Bill's wife passed about 10 years ago and ever since has been taking his anger out on the rest of the world. At work, he abuses and makes it hard for all of his workers to like him. While he is quite the hardhead, He's the type of guy you would want on your side when things hit the fan. Our second team member, Chauncey Anderson, is a father and provider, a hard worker, is a no-nonsense kind of guy, stubborn and complacent. He's a father of two who simply does what it takes to get food on the table for his wife and kids. Never graduating college, he's failed to meet the requirement to move up in the ranks at Amazon, so he is stuck in his current position as a laborer. Our third team member is Linda Martinez. She is quiet, a people pleaser, motherly, affectionate, and observant. She is a single mom who has been working at Amazon for over four years and will do most anything to provide for her daughter. Linda is a very quiet and introvert type of woman. She will rare, rarely respond to controversy and simply does what she is told. Our fourth out of five Our fourth team out of five team members' name is Richard, name Hines. Is Richard Hines. He is a wise, He's a wise standard, older gentleman. Hands -on. Who yeah, always gets humorous. the job done? He's is hands-on, older man who has a humorous, 
just get to the end. Yet the somehow game. is always so a he bystander. Always gets the job done. He can now wait until retirement. As I said, he's an older gentleman. His gentleman. "I'm almost out of he here" attitude is always displayed his directly across his face. Has never been issued. He never creates any conflicts or has any problems Amazon. with coworkers. Richard, but management I'm always questions if his heart is in anything he does. He's a slacker, to say the least. Our fifth and final team member, Sarah Taggart, is driven, well-educated, never seems to catch a break, is sometimes jealous, yet hardworking, knowledgeable, a team player, and is most certainly an extrovert. She's extremely smart and accomplished. She's a college graduate. She graduated only two years prior to Luke, our main character and manager. However, since has struggled to find a job in her major's field. Needless to say, Sarah has some angst towards Luke, being that she graduated two years prior, yet is still held in a lower position. Besides her obvious jealousy, Sarah is a go-getter, and will always put forth the extra work or put in the extra hours. Our target market is anyone between the ages of 18 and 55 in the Amazon workforce environment or any other warehouse workforce environment. Regardless of the exact location of our presentation, it is chosen on purpose in order to emphasize how Luke needs more experience in the workforce. This helps him understand all the workers, and this also helps for all the workers to understand where Luke is coming from. The Amazon Warehouse creates a tough and challenging work experience for everyone. Our presentation will be broken up into nine videos, each containing an encounter or conflict between the manager and workers. Adaptation and learning from each other will be key to maintain the flow of the warehouse. Examples of age differences and communication skills will be utilized. The other workers will affirm the conflicts and situations as the roles become vocal about occurring situations. And each of the videos will cover a topic revealing strategic alliances and managing across cultures. Episode one will be titled New Manager Equals New Management Style. This is where we will introduce the characters as well as the setting, which is an Amazon warehouse in Tampa, Florida. Many scenes will also be filmed in Luke's office in the warehouse. Episode 2 is titled Strategic Planning and Camaraderie. This is where, going through the everyday tasks at the warehouse, Luke begins to notice his employees don't communicate very much, very much or very well. He begins to brainstorm an attempt for his employees to have chemistry, that way, in his mind, they can work alongside people they like. Episode 3 will be titled Managing a Diverse Workforce. This is where Luke attempts to introduce his chemistry building idea to his team, and it automatically gets shut down. He'll have to overcome his employees not taking him seriously, and have to try and get hard-nosed Chauncey to find a way to like him. In Episode 4, titled Overcoming Challenges and Objections, Luke tells Chauncey to step into his office. Before Luke can begin to walk, excuse me, talk, Chauncey begins to chew Luke's ear off about experience and how he has none. Luke may just have to accept and realize that part of managing is that not everyone will always like you. In the episodes to come, episodes 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, episode 5 will be about group communication. Six will be about changes in policy. Seven will include leading by example. Eight will be trust, empathy, and motivation. And nine will be bright future ahead. So far this semester, our milestones and assignments have been going extremely well. We have received full credit and two and expect the same when it comes to the midterm and group evaluations. We have had no issues thus far, and we meet once a week as a group to stay on top of our project. Our to-do list for the remainder of the semester includes submitting Milestone 3, 
and 4, as well as finishing episodes 5, 6, 7, and And eight, we also have to work on the final finger puppet management presentation and complete and submit. Meet group seven. As you see, we have James, Laura, Stephen, and Stephanie. It's been a pleasure working with them thus far. What a good looking group. <laughs>